a.m. Cool start to today. There's some humidity out there. Mike says big changes on their way. His last alert on our mobile app. Hold on to your hat. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, January 3rd. And it is Friday. I'm excited about that. It's the weird middle of the week end of the week thing that we've come to. And a lot of folks have been off the whole week long, but Mike, as we said, is back. And what's the hold on to our hat part of this morning? It's going to be windy. Got a front that has technically moved on through here, is in the process of moving on through. And the winds are going to be picking up later on this afternoon, but setting us up for a fantastic weekend. This first weekend of the new year is going to be just great. Now, we do have a couple leftover showers around the area. There's this little impulse. You know, we had some of the rain yesterday, and then that kind of moved on out of here. But one last little straggler is Moving on through, so just these few uh, little shower, leftover showers. That's about it. Uh, in some of our eastern counties, uh, right around Floresville, Pleasanton, some of those, and then heading in toward uh, Three Rivers. There's also some fog to deal with, not around the metropolitan area right now. However, around Seguin, uh, Wilson County, you want to watch out for that because just to the east of there, we've got some very thick fog. Gonzales, Lagrange, College Station, all at just a quarter mile visibility, and this is going to try to kind of edge its way to the, the west before the wind starts to pick up. And so therefore we do have a dense fog advisory and it does include Guadalupe as well as Wilson counties and then off to the east from there. So it's right along I-10 and then again heading up in toward the uh, College Station area. And that's through just six o'clock this morning. So that's after that the wind should start to pick up a little bit and clear out any of this fog. We are at 49 degrees. So once again, we're on the warm side of things. We should be in the low 40s right now, but that's all going to be uh, somewhat changing today. We're going to be held down in the low 60s and we stay there yesterday, but that was because of the cloud cover. This is going to be because of the uh, the front moving on through here. Not a big blast of cold air, but it's going to be one of those gets rid of this humidity and look at those winds out of the northwest 15 to 20 and gusting from there. The weekend couldn't be better. Cool mornings, warm afternoons, plenty of sunshine. Make some outdoor plans. Details coming up.